Uh, look, I think there are some legitimate concerns here regarding just internal controls. Uh, no doubt some low-income citizens probably had some credit issues that may have affected their ability to do other things because when credit card accounts and, and other accounts are opened, it, it affects that. Um, but uh, look, you, uh, it's uh, 50 days before an election and, and uh, you know, this is the kind of thing that's going to be focused on. But there's no question that uh, people, there's some legitimate concerns about uh, about how a culture like this and an institution that has, you know, been so uh, out there relative to trying to conduct itself like a community bank, how these kinds of issues could have been going on and for so long with so many with so many people within the bank. So uh, yeah, I, I think there are some legitimate concerns here and hopefully it'll be a, a constructive meeting and, and uh, we'll see. I'm trying to read between the lines what you're saying, Senator. So you, you, you seem to be kind of indicating you think it's being demagogued a little because of the election and it, the, it's a little bit over the top compared to what the bank actually did. Is that your take? Well, I think there's going to be a whole range. I think, uh, you know, you, you, you look at this executive, Ms. Tolstead, which was in charge of this, who apparently was a workaholic. And, you know, uh, there was an account today in the Wall Street Journal about her signing leases. I mean, was very, very micro focused. And yet at the same time, systemically, there was something happening within the bank. And I think it will raise uh, some legitimate questions about the size of these institutions, their ability to to ensure that the culture is throughout. On the other hand, on the other end of the spectrum, there'll be folks, I'm sure, that want a banker's head on the end of a stick. And so, you know, there'll be a w wide range, I would guess, of, of tone and questions today. But I, I do applaud the chairman of the committee for calling the hearing, and hopefully it'll be constructive. There's also questions about what role the regulators played. Was this really something that an LA Times reporter, you know, uh, figured out was occurring or did our did our folks that, that are involved in regulating these institutions <laughs> actually play a role so we'll see there are issues sometimes in large institutions where you have people who in on one hand are micromanaging details and yet don't have their head up sometimes at the 10,000 foot level looking at culture and again um, again for this to go on for for four years and to affect so many people it it is kind of interesting that internal controls didn't red flag what was happening here. But again, uh, we, it's our job to oversee and, and uh, to make sure that appropriately uh, institutions that are especially large and complex like this are properly regulated. And, and uh, you know, a lot is being made out of this. And in some cases, the, there's some reality to that. But we'll see. I think it ought to be, a, uh, hopefully, a constructive hearing. Right. Senator, uh, you, you made a quick comment about the LA Times uh, yeah. versus perhaps the Consumer Protection Bureau in terms of yeah. who discovered this. How important is that ultimately? And you know, you've heard probably from, from Democrats who've <clears> said <throat> this uh, situation, this episode at Wells Fargo, is yeah. an example of why that agency is needed. Do you agree? Well, I think we do need to have legitimate consumer protection and, and, uh, and you know, Republicans, I know it's going to get into that, no question. The Republicans certainly support that. I think that having a five-member board uh, or a commission as part of this is something that would be an important governance structure and it being subject to uh, appropriations from Congress would be a legitimate uh, effort. but. I don't think any of those things would have negatively impacted here. It's, it's hard to determine at present, and I'm, I'm saying this, I don't know, hopefully the hearing will shed light, whether this is something again that a, a reporter uncovered and the consumer protection just came in with a vacuum cleaner to, to, to you know, vacuum up uh, you know, $100 million in fines or whatever it was, or whether they actually played a role. Uh, either way, something happened here and it was inappropriate and probably which is especially bad. Some low-income citizens were negatively affected, and you know, um, those are things that uh, we need to protect against. And again, I hope we have a very constructive hearing. Hey, CNBC fans! Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here, you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here, and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.